Right now, Warsaw Community School leaders trying to figure out exactly what they're going to do with $39 million. That's how much money the district received after voters approved a referendum in May. The money will go to improve two schools and rebuild a third. WSBT 22's Kristen Bean met with the superintendent to find out what's next in this big project and how it will impact the school year. Sit down, David. Kids are already back to school in Warsaw. Focus, focus. And here at Washington Elementary School, it's the calm before the storm. That's because Washington is one of three schools that will see renovations thanks to a referendum passed by voters in May. The school was built in the 50s. There are few plugs in classrooms. The lights and plumbing need upgrading, and the building needs to be expanded. But Superintendent David Hoffert says students here will barely notice construction is taking place. Uh, we know that that is, is really one of the most important things through this construction process is to make sure that we don't take away from the learning environment. Hoffert says the same will be true next door at Edgewood Middle School where the open concept school will be modernized. Across town, a brand new Lincoln Elementary School will be built next door to the current school before the old, outdated building is torn down. I started thinking, to this last week, I said, where did summer go? As Hoffert met with teachers last week, he described where the district is in the construction process. And so, especially people in those three schools and then different departments, uh, we're going to be asking for a lot of feedback as we continue to refine those processes and make sure that, that again, we provide the, the absolute best learning environment for the students of Warsaw Community Schools. Hoffert says the district is working with a criteria designer who's putting together a vision based off building needs and focus groups. Three companies will soon submit bids and plans. The school board will make a decision in October. And then Hoffert says shovels in the ground immediately. He believes everything will be completed by January of 2017. As for teachers and staff in the district who are now back to school, these changes are something new to look forward to. Very excited, very excited because, you know, really they get to help um, envision what the next generation of learning is going to look like. That was Kristen Bean reporting. Now, the superintendent says much of the construction and renovations will take place during breaks and vacations to eliminate education disruption. Of the $39 million, the lion's share of the money will go to the brand new Lincoln Elementary construction. After that new building is completed, the old school will be torn down. Now, this is just the first in a series of special back to school reports we have planned for you all this week. Tomorrow, find out how to help your kids transition back to class. And on Wednesday, we'll have a look at the I-STEP test. On Thursday, we're breaking down Indiana's teacher shortage and how it affects schools in our area. And on Friday, we'll have advice for parents on what age is appropriate for leaving kids home alone after school. This is all this week on our Back to School Week, right here on WSBT 22, first in the morning. Leanne, at 637 and